first thing in the agenda today, we are doing orders. Ooh, that's... Can I find me? What's up, guys? Oh, almost fell. What's up, guys? Hey. Chill out. What's up, bro? You guys trying to dunk in the air? Yeah. Yeah, the, the bachelor is still in prison. Got it. Suggestions on what I should change this to? How you doing, bro? I'm doing good. Sorry, I'm greeting my customer. So, we started the orders. We're almost, we located all the orders, except I'm hungry. And I don't like to be hungry while I'm at work, because I don't really work, because I'm thinking about food. So, I've been good all week. I've been eating good. Water, no soda, stuff like that. I'm gonna grab me some chipotle. People don't know what chipotle is. Chipotle. I like chipotle. So I'm gonna grab chipotle and coffee. I'm gonna try to get hit. Prayers go out to all the families that are affected by that tragedy. 73 people killed. Jesus Christ. They're all in a like, festivity mood. And yeah, I saw videos and it, it hurt my heart, man. It just, it, it's kind of hard to watch things like that because I like to do that with my family and I would not know how to respond. I'll probably lose it. But, yeah, man. Praise to everybody out in that city, nice. Jesus Christ. There's a, the painful part was when I saw a little, like, there was little kids killed, like, it's getting too out of control. Innocent cops one week. You know, innocent people in the next week celebrating the, I think something like the Independence Day from here. Like the 4th of July thing over there. Something like that. Uh, I don't know exactly uh, what holiday it was, but or what was the occasion. But yeah. Sad. So yeah, love everybody. Give people that you love a hug. If you have somebody that you have problems with, issues with, and you love them dearly, fix those problems. I hate going to bed with issues with somebody that I love and care for because I don't know what tomorrow brings. And, you know, there's there's a few people in my life that I want to fix things with, but it's so, and it gets hard and difficult at times, I know, but I, I always been the one to be the bigger person to swallow my ego and my pride and, and call them first. So fix every problem you have with people. Because you never know what's gonna happen tomorrow or the next minute. Like right now I'm driving without my seatbelt because I'm holding up the camera. But I might put my seatbelt on. So I walked up to Chipotle and I walked right back out. The line was about 20 people deep. So I went to plan B. And plan B is always a good plan. Togos. This is one of my favorite places ever in life. And it seems like there's two people ahead. Two people, you know, rather than four, 20 people. So yeah, let's get the sandwich. Hold on, hold on, babe, hold on, babe, hold on. I got you, girl. I got you, girl. Oh, yes. Safety's first. No, I drop I drop water on my keyboard, and then with the with my my sister's and my mom's hair dryer, huh? I hit it just to dry out the water quickly, and I left it there too fucking long. Oh shit! I mean, you went to touch it and it melted, and it pushed the peel a little bit. Yeah. Melted it, and left the fingerprint. Cause it was like melting. I was like, oh shit. That's kind of dope though. That's yeah. like a fingerprint scan. <laughs> yeah, low key. <laughs> no, just put fake easy. Brought in by uh, Aaron. Oh, Aaron. 
Yeah. This is so bad. This is a fake easy, by the way. Yeah, please. Look at look at the boost. People want to always want to hit me up on the Snapchat and send me 30 pictures about the same shoe. Look at the stitching in the front. Look at that suede patch. That suede patch is pretty good. That suede patch looks like it. It's just different oh, color. That belongs on a tan. <laughs> Why is everyone up here, Sam? God damn it. I mean, I wanted to show you guys. Here, okay, bye. It's fake. Oh. We, we sell fake shoes at Mag. Fake shoes are there. And a, res and a reliable store. Okay, well, can you guys discuss that though? And the lay said it was real. I'm not saying no names. There's no one on the floor right now. You couldn't avoid it for nope. to come down. It's fine. Just go down. I'm either. Sorry. Guess what, guys? We have a plot twist. We're taking the shirts to Fairfax, the goat shirts. But first, I gotta drop off packages at the post office because we got too many freaking orders. I'm so happy. We're down to 29 orders. It's hot as heck. I'm rambling on like if I'm on coffee, but I'm not on coffee. I didn't have no coffee today. I only had water. I'm seeing two homeless guys fight right now, which is, I don't know why. The one in the black shirt. Are you vlogging this? Are yeah. you vlogging while we're on the phone? Yeah. Oh, they, they, oh, okay. they made up. Oh, they're hugging? No, they're like talking really close. No, the nigga just do oh, it. He just drop kicked them a little while ago. I don't typically get noticed with the glasses on, but these guys caught me. So what's up, guys? What's your guys' names? Malcolm. Malcolm. Hey, shout out I'm, to I'm e take man. To who? Shout out to E man and uh, and my boy V. My boy. V. Shout out to uh, E man and V. I don't know your V. What's V's name? Vic. Vic. Shout out to Vic. I'm Tig man. Shout out to Neric. Shout out to Ner what Neric? Neric. Neric. I want to say his name, but is that who is that? Armenian? Yeah. Well, how you know man? This guy's in the plug knows everything. I man. know. I know what Susmanov means. I know what other words mean, but I can't say because it's really disrespect for the moms. <laughs> I, I grew up in a uh, Las Vegas area. Oh, that's dope. Man. So it's like, and it's right by Glendale. So, so I know I know a lot of Armenian friends. So I learned a lot of bullshit. But anyway, appreciate you guys. Nice to see you, man. What's up, bro? I'll uh, be safe, kids. All right, just left Fairfax location, and I decided to stop right here at this store on Melrose that is very popular called Round Two. So, I'm gonna walk into there, see what's up to the homies. That's a nice RT. But yeah, let's walk in. What's up, cool guy? LPZ in the making. You're not a fan, who am I? Hey, man. Hey, shout out to him. What's your name, bud? Yeah, I'm Javi. Oh, what's up? What's up, Javi? Javi? H O B B Y? Oh, no, J A B I. Okay. Appreciate that, bro. I'm just throw up a gang sign, but oh, but it's cool. What are you, what are you picking up today? Let's let's let's, let's link up with you. You selling some stuff? What are you selling? Um, like a vape tunic that I don't really want. And so why'd you buy it? I, well, I bought it a while ago, and then it doesn't fit me. Anymore. Are you looking for any sneakers today? What you got on? Oh, you got the hype on. Yeah. I was I was looking for some ones. They usually have good deals on ones, and they always have my size. Yeah, I got some shattered backwards for 260 yesterday. Here. I'm wanted here. What's good? Who? You know me, bro? Yeah. He looks familiar. I met him before. I never met him. Mad child, chilling on Melrose. Melrose, no trip. Happy to be in LA. A lot of people don't know this about me. I am a huge battle rap fan, and I was Mad Child. He's one of the top dogs. He has great music. If you never heard his music, go check him out. Mad Child. He's an oh, turn off the car. He's incredible in the battle rap scene. Mad Child, big fan. He's dope. I almost got him. He was crossing the road and, and I didn't want to stop him. Cause I'm like, I don't want to be a dick and get you hit by a car, but I'm a huge fan of you. But yeah, anyway, let's go home. Get ready, cause we're going out tonight. I don't know if it's a date. That's one thing. You never know if it's a date. Fellas. I'm gonna put my seatbelt on. You never know if it's a date when you're taking some girl out. It starts off as talking, let's hang out, grab some food. But then you never know if it's a date. Cause she's calling you like cute names and shit. So don't ever assume guys, just go with the flow. Actually don't go with the flow, be the flow. 
Just be yourself. Make funny jokes. Girls love jokes. People always question how a mo like people think I score dimes and I'm an ugly mutt and know that I know that. But I'm just funny, man. I'm funny and I'm by my, and I'm myself and I got and I have a great res responsibility. I have a great uh, personality. So that's what wins, man. Funny always wins. Yeah, girls love that. But it's always about it's always about laughing. Laughing is the greatest uh, cure for um, for for any pain or anything. Laughter is the best medicine. That's what I think. I've gone through some stuff, and like I said earlier, when I had to take my dad for the this funny story, I had to take my dad to the hospital to the ER, and he was like, um, he was nervous as hell. Of course, anybody would. Something's like twitching in your body. You don't know what's going on. You get scared. But I'm filling out his paperwork. And it's like, I'm like, okay, age, birthday, name. And then I say sex. And as I'm reading this out loud, uh, my dad goes, he hits me with his elbow. And even though we're in the ER and, and he's like, his mind is racing, thinking, and you know what's going on he goes ahead and he tells me um put every day meaning sex every he has like when do you have sex like if it was questioning how many days you have sex he said every day i busted out laughing i said dude there's nothing wrong with you you know anybody would be scared if something's twitching in your body and keeps twitching and then it goes away and it comes back you don't know what's going on my dad's a little he's not an old man but you know he's a little bit he's a little pat he's early he's early in his 50s and it's just scary the thing about my dad he doesn't take no days off like he he can't you can't sit that man still and i get that from him sometimes why i can't like when i say i can't take days off it's more in the sense i don't i can't be my bed all day i have to be doing something and i grew to become my dad and everyone's like oh, i don't want to become like my dad if I am a 1% of what my dad has become, or what my dad is, man, that man is something else. That's truly my hero, my dad. And I love my father for everything he's done for me. And equally, I love my mother as well, but we're talking about dad right now because of the whole laughing situation. But always make light of the situation. Always remember the good, the good and not the bad. Even though I'm sometimes you know, I'm 50-50 and optimistic and a pessimist, but most of the time, I think of the, uh, of, of what if, you know, about the, um, about the outcome of it. Do If I do this, it'll probably go good, but then it could go two times wrong, so it's always difficult. We are out here. But anyway, I think I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna end the vlog there for today. So thank you for guys watching. Please comment, subscribe, and hopefully you answer the question of the day. And that is, how many times a day do you do you laugh or do you concentrate in, in, in smiling and laughing? How many times a day do you do that? Let's 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 go that. Let's do that. How many times a day do you laugh? See you guys next time. I appreciate it. Y'all, I ain't shit without y'all. And one thing I want to say is, oh, you almost crashed, Mustang. One thing I want to say is, when people see me, and you guys see me as a celebrity or famous, just know I ain't shit. I'm just a regular Joe. I'm nowhere more better than anybody else in this world. I'm the same person. I'm the same type of human being you are. You, I wake up in the morning. I brush my teeth just like y'all. I eat just like y'all. I have my de bad days and I have my good days, man. But at the end of the day, I always remain myself. And no one can take that away from me. I've been the same type of person since I was younger. And I'm always gonna be, have that same mentality 
of a winner. And that's something no one can take away from me. I, 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 I used to move snowflakes.